Greetings, my friends, and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. Oh, it is a delight to be with you on this gorgeous, beautiful Friday afternoon. My friends, as you can see, I am dressed in orange, so I am staying safe as I come to the hills of Maplewood during this deer hunting season. I am glad to be with you. And uh, as I said, this beautiful scenery that is around us, have I seen any deer? No. As much noise as I make trudging through the woods, they're long gone by now. But I still enjoy being out. And I'm enjoying being here, coming to you from this place. Today I've got just a, a short scripture that I re read to you. And it's coming from the writer of Job. And this is what Job writes to us. He says, But ask the animals, and they will teach you. The birds of the air, and they will tell you. Ask the plants of the earth, and they will teach you. And the fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand, is the life of everything and the breath of every human being. Job chapter 12 verses 7 through 10. It's quite a unique experience to uh, come out into the deer hunting woods, if I may say, and to just sit in silence. And when Job says, listen to the birds speak, or listen to the plants. Job's got it right. Because as you sit in this stillness, a gray squirrel can make an awful lot of noise, or a chickadee can land on a stem close by. It is unique and it is beautiful to be able to engage in nature in that way. And then to comprehend just a small part of what God has created for us, what God has given us and what God has blessed us with. Hunting, yeah, it's an enjoyable time of the year. Many people come on out into the hills, maybe not so much in the maple wood, but the area around us. For myself, I think the pleasure is not so much in the hunt itself, but in the opportunity to come together with family, with friends, to share stories of seasons gone by, but more so to sit in the stillness of God's creation, to sit out here and amongst nature, just to be still. To listen and know that I am God. Yes, God's voice is all around us. The tapestry that he has painted for us is stunning and it is a gift to each and every one of us. My friends, as you go through this day, just stop, take a moment, be still, and listen to what God has given to us and see what God has blessed us with. As I leave you today, I leave you with a beautiful song that I heard earlier this morning when I was sitting in my deer stand and comprehending a devotion for you this morning. Yes, I was listening to music but I came across this beautiful song and I want to share it with you this morning. As you go into the rest of this day, hear these words. God's blessings to you. God's peace.
Spread out doors is the church and 